Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's Taina from Blossom Your Home. If you're one of my subscribers, thank you for coming back. And if you're new, welcome. I had to take a step back from YouTube because I had a couple of personal problems and some projects. So I gave myself some grace and some time off. And here I am excited to tackle new home decor and new projects along the way. So this project is for a friend of mine and she did give me the card ahead of time, but you can definitely find cards in different places. I would suggest places like Facebook Marketplace, Etsy. I would probably check eBay and I would also check thrift stores and vintage stores. I found two different cards at Facebook Marketplace. One was $25 and the other one was running for about $35. So I thought those were great deals if you're interested in buying your own card to start off with. So my friend is a florist and if you're located in New York City, Westchester, Connecticut area, I will leave all her information in the description below if you're getting married or if you know someone that is, you can share her link as well. She's a florist and she found the card and gave it to me ahead of time and this is what it looks like. First thing I did was wipe it down. I used warm water and a splash of dish detergent and scrubbed away. Make sure not to soak the wood. You want to wring the cloth or sponge as much as possible. Once that was completed, I decided to remove these two big pieces and all the screws beforehand because it's easier to sand down and paint. Make sure that you use the necessary tools. I use medium grit sandpaper and I alternated from 80 to 120 parts. Some of the wood has been dinged, so prepping the wood properly before painting was crucial for me. Sanding wood down is messy, but it was well worth it at the end. I would say that this part of the project is one of the most important parts. Ultimately, double checking your measurements will help you out on the long run. I double and triple measured before I made any cuts. What's that saying again? Uh, measure twice and cut once. Yeah, you wanna make sure that you measure and you double check your work before anything. Now I started to work on the top canopy part of the cart. I hope the breakdown is a helpful guide. Remember that depending on the size of your cart, your measurements might look different than mine, but this should give you a clear guide as to where to start and how to finish. Once I cut all the wood pieces to its correct measurements, I sanded them down as well because it's easier to paint them afterwards. I also made sure that all the corners were glued before nailing them and screwing them together. I did it with all the wood pieces that I had and everything that I built, I made sure that I glued and then screwed it or nailed it together. This piece right here is going to be permanent, but anything else that I build from here on forward is detachable because it's easy to transfer from one place to another and for it to fit into cars. Now I'm going to cut four pieces and each one measured 36 inches. And once again, I followed the same process. I cut everything, I sanded everything down. After that, I glued everything together. And then I finished by adding screws to all the corners just to give it more reinforcement. So this is the top part of the car and it basically sort of looks like the top of a house, but this is where the canopy is going to be placed. Here are the measurements. Now I'm going to cut everything to show you.
And once again, I followed the same process. I looked at the picture with the measurements that I had created and I cut everything to size, glued it together, and then I screwed it for additional support. And then I finished by adding screws to all the corners just to give it more reinforcement. We are almost towards the end. This is the part where I'm going to prime all the pieces. Everything that I took apart, everything that I've put together, I'm going to prime it before I paint it in white. The only thing that's going to look different are the wheels and the handle. I don't know about you, but there is something very soothing about watching this part. So enjoy. This piece right here was an addition that I decided to add at the end because I thought it would support the canopy better once we placed the material on top. For this piece right here, I used a piece of plywood. I measured it and cut it to size. Then I used a hole saw attached to my drill and I created the holes. I wanna give a quick shout out to my dear Wanda. She's right here. She made the loose scallop canopy for me and she did such a beautiful job. So thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And if you made it to the end, you are a trooper. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It always helps the channel. And I also created an Instagram specifically for this channel. So if you're interested in more home decor and DIYs, I share a lot of my behind the scenes on there. Once again, thank you for watching and don't forget to be kind to yourself and to others. And until next time, adios. Where you wanna make sure that you double or triple treckle, triple treckle. <laughs> you enjoyed this video, hey, Ugh. I really hope you that uh, this part of the project is extra <clears throat> thank you for much thank you for much thank you for much yeah <sighs>